Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Very quickly, a lot of you guys noticed that there was no upload yesterday. I just took one day off, you know, I had to relax a little bit, do a bunch of in real life things. But now we're back and I'm gonna try to maintain the daily uploads. But if for some reason, sometimes I can't upload daily, I'll definitely upload the next day. And the reason for that is the later you progress your account in RuneScape, the harder it is to gather clips and content. Therefore, the uploads slow down a little bit. So if it's not every Day, it's definitely gonna be every two days but anyways if you guys missed any of the previous videos i'll leave the link to the playlist on the top of the description give a video a like if you are enjoying the series and with that being said enjoy the video every time i edit my videos i come right here and i train room crafting so here it is 86 room crafting already i'm pretty much getting one level per day and right now for example i'm 360k away from a level i'm gonna train it until i'm like 100k away off and then i'll finish that tomorrow and uh, that's what i I do pretty much every single day and it's been going for the last six days it's been going and hopefully we can manage to get this to 99 by the end of the leagues 83 crafting i know i said i'm only doing one level a day but what if i do two levels a day crazy i'm just watching a movie right now i've done a bit of winter thought in fact i've done 5.8 million worth of winter thought and that is 11 crates now if we take a look at my tome of fire you'll see that i only have 750 charges left and that is because I always raid with Tome of Fire and I need the pages. So we're gonna be opening this and what we really need is boots and pages. And we didn't get either, so that blows. But yeah, we need the Pyromancer boots that's gonna give us points. And we also need pages and I'm gonna slowly but surely work my way up to 100 million fire making XP. I have just done 10 more Winter Thought kills and we're up to 62 million fire making XP. Once again, we need pages and boots. Let's quickly open all of these. And we get another pair of warm gloves. That's actually not too bad because if we look at my bank, we will now have three warm gloves. And in the future, instead of warm gloves, I'll be getting magic seeds, I do believe. Daily Hespori, I still need a bucket, let's see. And this time we get Snapseed and Ada Seed. I just got invited to do some raids, we're gonna be opening this crate. Some of those are 10,000 and some of those are 15,000 points. And we got uh, nothing too special from those. Alright, here we go, raid number 13, the lucky number. And we get Coal, very nice. Uh, pure Essence useless, but Coal is absolutely amazing. I need about, I'd say about 5,000 more of these. Maybe 4,000 now, because I got two Coal drops, so very, very good. I think I will be opening the crates every 10 million experience, we're currently at 70 million fire making and once again boots and pages is all that we need and we do not get boots or pages. Already up to 80 million fire making XP and I am gaining about 5 mil an hour but I was watching a movie so obviously I wasn't as efficient as I could possibly be. I'm gonna open this next to the chest, once again we do need pages and boots. And uh, there we go, first pages, very nice. I'm just gonna do this, because I don't want to get rid of my inventory, because I'm gonna probably continue till 100 million today. At least that's my plan for now. Another Bruma Torch, that's my second one. That's fine, we need three, and then we stop getting duplicates, I believe. And we also ended up getting two use seats. Fairly nice, but look at this, 34 pages. That is awesome. If I put this here, nice. We, have, we, we were at 1,000, now we are at 1,500 charges. That's gonna be very nice when we continue on with raids there we go 88 agility coming through well that kind of didn't really work because it didn't stay on the screen because i took damage but anyways that is a very very big level because we can now use shortcut to hydra with zero boost pretty much uh, i'm not really planning on killing much hydra on the account simply because i didn't really go the pvm route up to 90 million fire making experience still gaining just about 5 mil xp an hour but once again you guys already know what we want let's open all of these and hopefully get what we want no boots, but the pages are awesome. If we insert these, we now have 19,000 charges. Very good. I decided to knock out 93 Hunter out of the way simply because I saw a D-Imp that I couldn't take and I was angry. But there it is, 93 Hunter. We can now basically catch Imps barehanded. Well, Dragon Imps barehanded, which is awesome. I don't think I'll stay here for too much longer. Um, I'm pretty much what like 40 minutes away from a level scrolling all the way up here in the chat We have completed 200 winter tot kills in total giving us another 50 points very nice And on top of that we have a couple of crates that we're gonna open because I do want to get those boots man Let's see if we can get lucky Any luck? Nope, no luck, but uh, well, maybe next time we get the boots today is a new day and here we go 
99 farming, another 99 on the account. If we go and count, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 11th. Yeah, I think that is 11th, 99. Very nice. I've been just uh, pretty consistently farming these. I don't know if I'll go for 25. Most likely I will. Uh, but it's a very cool uh, level to get. Uh, we also get 17,810 points. I will focus on finishing 100 mil fire making now. So we get 500 more. Daily Hespori, this is now KC number 9 and we only need a bucket really, so let's see what we get. And we get Easor Seed and Quorum Seeds. Uh, okay, so nothing that I really need, but that's alright. There we go, we did it. I actually wanted to finish it like after the game, but there it is, 100 million fire making experience. Giving us 500 leak points and that means we are now over 18,310 points. In the process we got 10 crates as well. Most of them are actually like 10 or 15,000 point crates because I did this in the morning when there is not a lot of people. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and open those. I still need the boots. In the process I ended up getting up to 14.5 million construction XP. So we got pretty much 1.5 mil XP there. And it looks like I got probably about 2, maybe 3 mil woodcutting XP as well. So that was all in all very nice. We're also very close, I mean not very close, but pretty close to 89 agility. Anyways, we have 10 crates right here. Let's see what do we get. Ah, uh, here we go. I just need the boots so I get more points. And pages. And we don't get pages. Uh, a bit unlucky, I think. It's okay, we still need to do 100 million fire making XP, so I'm not too worried. There we go, placeholder mystic blue bottoms. Um, this is a little bit wrong, this counter right here, but we're finally back on Slayer, working our way on completing this task for 100 easy points. And here we go, after many, many hours, we have completed the Hydra task, 78 tasks completed, but most importantly, 100 extra points just for completing that. Okay, so from now, the tasks that we want to get are the ones that will give me medium clue scrolls, or any tasks that will help me get my prayer experience. So, I also want to get my uh, 99 defense and I also want to get my 25 mil range so let's see what task we get well red dragons are a task I absolutely have to do because they are just uh, well they're nice for crafting they're nice for prayer and every time I have this task I'll just take a full inventory of bones and basically go there and bury the bones and then continue on with the task. There we have it, another 50 points obtained because now we do have temple key and with that we can open the doors right over, well, right here in the back. Uh, that's gonna enable me to be able to bring bones to this altar if I want to run them and well, in process get like more prayer experience. I don't know if it's worth running all the way here, uh, but at least we have that enabled right now, so that is very good. Here we go, 92 magic, very nice. And there we go, 82 prayer, do we get a combat level? No we don't, but very nice, I do have enough bones to probably finish at least another level in the bank, but I'm not gonna focus on that right now, because uh, there's literally, I don't have the reason to do it. Very nice red dragon task, absolutely gonna do that every single time, gives me decent prayer XP, decent crafting XP, and magic XP on top of that, it's really perfect. Now let's see what the next one's gonna be, we do need those medium clue scrolls, I'm basically completely out of them, so... Perfect, exactly what I needed, 98 sulfur lizards, we should expect about 10 medium clue scrolls. Very nice, 80 tasks completed, we got a nice amount of extra points so we can skip the bad ones. Unfortunately we only got 6 mediums, but that's okay, because I am planning on doing Slayer for the most of the day today honestly. Can't really say no to Temple Spiders, they do drop me some anti-poisons, they're extremely fast, let's go do it. And here we go, the task of spiders is also completed. The reason why this task is so good is because it's extremely fast and it gives you a decent amount of spider eggs. And every one of those red spider's eggs I will end up using for super restores. 169 worms. The task is very, very long, but uh, the bones will be worth it. I need them to train my prayer. Here we go, 97 defense, two more levels to go. And this task is not gonna be bad at all because, well, I need these bones. Because eventually, I do think 99 prayer will be the hardest 99 for me to get. Well, 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 we have had the dragon knives and now we got the dragon throwing axes. Both of those drops are basically same as dragon sword and dragon harpoon. Now we got two out of the four drops, those are pretty damn rare, um, but I'll take it, that definitely looks pretty cool. I do not know where I will use this, I don't know if I have any like specific use where it would come in handy, but definitely kinda nice. This should be it. There we go, 97 Slayer already. 
over 1 million XP to go till 98 and we are getting somewhat close about an hour away from 98 defense so I am gonna hard focus on completing this 99 and obviously 99 defense in the process as well about 700k from those worms and 167 bones Ooh, and very nice some abyssal demons I need to kill those because they can drop me elite clue scrolls and from 147 I should expect about 14 elites and about 14 uh, hard clue scrolls Nice, there we go, 98 defense and just one more level to go till we are max combat. After I'm done with 99 Slayer, my episodes will consist of me doing a skill and clue scrolls. So basically training skills, training clue scrolls, getting all of those to 500. Now that's gonna be the plan, but for now, let's finish off one more defense level. 15 elites, 16 hard clue scrolls from that abyssal demon task and the new one will be sold for lizards, very nice. Let's hopefully get more than 7 mediums as well. 8 medium clue scrolls and the next one is... Ooh, we're gonna do some worms again and that's gonna be a lot of bones that we need, so very nice. This task will also get me up to 99 defense, I'm 100% sure of it, so let's just get at it. And here we go, my throat is absolutely murdering me right now, but regardless, we did just finish 99 defense on the account, and with that, we now have 99 in pretty much, well, all the combat stats aside from magic and prayer. Now, the good thing is that we get 250 league points for completing this task, and as soon as I kill this worm, I'm actually gonna hop worlds, and I do believe I should be in the top 100 players in Twisted Leagues. I feel like if I didn't show it, you probably wouldn't believe me, but I literally just got rank 100. That is very awesome, very nice number. Um, so yeah, it's only uphill from here. So yeah, as you can see, I'm rank 100 league points right now, and I think this is pretty much the best way to end this video. That was my plan at the start, to reach the top 100, and I finished it. I will be gaining a lot of points in the very near future. 25 million range, 25 million hit points XP is all very close. I'll be working my way on to 99 Slayer on top of that, and not to mention, once we do go ahead and complete all the clue scrolls in our bank, we're gonna get a massive point increase, so I'm definitely looking at easily surpassing 20,000 points in the very near future. I will be ending the video over here, so I really hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, a simple like helps me out big time. Also, if you made it this far and you are not yet subscribed, consider subscribing, we produce RuneScape content pretty much all the time, and it would help me out big time. I'm very close 80,000 subs, and I think that would be an amazing goal to hit. Now, this video was once again brought to you by my supporters. Thank you very much, guys, for supporting the channel. It does mean a whole lot to me. A massive shout out once again goes out to the Taki and Arska. Thank you guys for being absolutely insane. And with that being said, I hope I'll see you guys again in a day or two with another video. Until then though, have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.